respected dear friends, my pronouns to you. A very interesting court uh, case uh, against the Lord Krishna came up in Poland. Such a, a series of cases appear to be uh, came to the court in Switzerland also. The case against uh, Lord Krishna was filed by a Christian nun in which uh, she has mentioned to the court the court happened to be in Warsaw, Poland, which is the birthplace of the previous Pope of Vatican. The nun in Warsaw, Poland, filed a case against the ISKCON, International Krishna Society, International Society for Krishna Consciousness. The followers of Lord Krishna spread throughout the world. They focus on Lord Krishna, Lord Krishna's activities through Bhakti, Jnanam and Karma Yoga. The case came up in the court. The nun remarked that ISKCON was spreading its activities and gaining followers in Poland. Poland used to be a communist country earlier. Now neither communism nor congressism nor, nor Rahul Gandhi nor V.S. Achyudandar nor Pinarayi Vijayan are there in Poland. Only some human beings are there in Poland. So some, some human beings are there sitting in the judge. Some nuns are there. They are, uh, roots are almost extincting because of the communism. And in the Poland court such a case came up in which uh, this nun wanted is called banned because its followers were glorifying a character called Lord Krishna. And Lord Krishna according to her who had loose morals and according to her Sri Krishna has married 16,000 women called Gopikas. And uh, the court, court read all these details and the ISKCON defendant to the judge, ISKCON member explained it to the judge in such a way that he requested the judge in the quotation, please ask the nun to repeat the oath she took when she was ordained as a nun. And the judge asked the nun to recite the oath loudly but she did not do that one. She did not read the oath. And uh, at the same time, the Iskorn man asked her whether she could read out the oath for the nun. And uh, the defendant of the Iskorn movement uh, requested the judge whether can he read the oath loudly. The judge gave permission to read the oath taken by the nuns world over. And uh, he read the oath said in a nutshell. In that nutshell, the effect that uh, she, that particular nun, and millions and millions of nuns spread world over are married to Jesus Christ. The Iskod man said, Your Lordship, Lord Krishna is alleged to have married 16,000 women, whereas there are more than a million nuns world over who assert that they are married to Jesus Christ. So, Jesus Christ has got more than 1 million uh, wives, Lord Krishna is proposed, alleged to have 16,000 women. Between the two, Lord Krishna and Lord Jesus, who has a loose character. The net result was the case was dismissed without further discussion. Pidambaran, uh, one of the well wishes of IAS, just sent this information through email to me. You should also know all the facts, how the Christian missionaries in India, particularly in India and the countries around India are cheating, denigrating, belittling, degrading Hindu Dharma, Lord Krishna, Indian scriptures and also Shivalinga and so on on the one hand and on the other hand they are taking the flag post of Kerala temple in their churches they are wearing the saffron cloth and uh, the stone lamps which is very common in Kerala temples are being taken to the churches and uh, Annadanam is taken and the temple elephant festivals are taken and Pradeshta Dinam is taken and uh, Shivaratri has been labeled as Mishiha Ratri and Vidyaram has been labeled as their functions and Onam celebration has also been taken as a Christian function. So, all whatever is there as Hindu heritage 
are being taken by the Christians on the one hand and on the other hand they use all these nasty words for denigrating Hindu Dharma in such a way that through fraud, hooks and crooks and through cheating they are converting the poor ignorant Hindus to their fold for increasing the number of Christians in the world. And the developed countries like America, England, Canada, European countries, they outright rejected the so-called very primitive, crooked, crude book Bible written for the primitive people of Israel living in the deserts. Deserts. Those books are being pumped into the heads of the poor people and declaring that Jesus is the only savior in the world. Everyone should follow Jesus. Everyone should follow Bible. Everyone should follow the path of cross and they are now on the venture of making in India, make in India the so-called saints instead of borrowing from the West, Saint George, Saint Joseph, Saint Mary and Saint Sebastian, those are all imported from other countries. Now they started making their own saint in India, Saint Alphonse Amma, Saint Chavarayachan. Saint Dela Gandapalla and Saint Umman Chandi, Saint Viya Sachudanandan will be coming shortly and finally Saint Rahul Gandhi, Saint Sunia Gandhi will also be coming for, uh, for the support and protecting and for saving the Indians. Make in India project of Modi is taken by the Christians for making their own saints from among the Indians who were earlier Hindus got converted to Christianity and those saints, the proof is that they might have cured the stomachache or they might have cured the headache of a, a follower, a bhakta, a devotee. So if a saint has cured the stomachache or the headache or some other pain, that individual will be later declared as the saint in the Christian community. In that condition you can see in Kerala, in India, there are thousands and thousands and thousands of doctors who cure the stomachache, headache and other aches. Why the Christians are not benedicting them as the saint? If one person could cure the stomachache, he can be elevated the position of a saint. Naturally all these doctors should also be elevated the position of the saint, at least the Christian doctors should be elevated who are not merely curing the stomachache, who are even curing the cancer, the um, HIV or the AIDS and so on. Still complicated diseases are getting cured through the doctors. Why they are not getting elevated into the position of the saint? Why Alphonse Sama or Chavrayachan are getting elevated into the position of the saints? You should remember that since they already got expired, they are no more, nobody will be verifying their background. Whether truly they are saints, whether truly they are mentally abnormal or mentally normal, all these things nobody can inquire and nobody can give a verdict about their quality. So after the death of 60 years or 70 years or 100 years, 150 years, you can elevate any Christian into the level of a saint or holy man. And this is exclusively for converting the Indians into the Christian fold, particularly when the developed world outrightly rejected the Christianity and the Bible. And here you can see the nuns case in the Poland Warsaw court against Lord Krishna and what was the verdict of these things to be compiled and you should get convinced that Hindu Dharma survived for the last 10,000 years cannot be wiped out by a few bishops and nuns or Christian missionaries working in India particularly from Kerala throughout India. You should be aware about this, beware about this type of crooked and cheating method adopted by the Christians for converting the poor Hindus and protect the Hindu Dharma and remember that cheating and crooked thing will not last for a long period. Thank you very much. My pranamsti.